What's up guys, we're back with another video. You guys wanted me to show you how to install fully functional Kodi on your brand new Apple TV 4. Okay, before you do anything, there's a few things that you're gonna need. A, you're obviously gonna need an Apple TV 4. Um, two, you're gonna need a Mac. Yep, you're gonna need a Mac. Now, I do not know if this works. I've never tried it. Um, I don't even own a real Windows machine, but you guys can let me know in the comments. You can use VMware or anything that will allow direct USB access. The free one, I forget what it's called, it's made by Sun. That doesn't allow USB access, so don't waste your time with that one. But VMware, and you can install OS X and do all of this, and it might work. There's no promises. But, okay, let's go ahead, meaning we have a Mac here and we'll go. So, we're going to need Xcode from the App Store, whatever the latest version is. Download, install that. You're going to need to download Kodi Nightly Deb file. So, I, I already did all of this. You're going to go here. You're going to download, see there's three of them here. This is the current one on December 30th. We're going to download that. I've already downloaded it. Because the first time I did it, it wanted 20 minutes, then it took two seconds. So I downloaded it. That way we don't have any weights here. Okay, so we're going to download that. All right, now we're going to get... Now you're also going to need, I'm sorry I forgot to mention it. You're going to need a USB-C type cable. Depending on your MacBook or your Mac Pro or whichever computer that you're actually doing this on. You're, you're going to need a USB-C connection, a USB Type-C connection for the Apple TV itself. Now, when you're going into your MacBook or your Mac Pro or whatever have you, that's where it's going to be a little, a little bit tricky or involved. You're either going to need a USB cable on the other end. You're going to need a, another USB Type-C cable on that end, one or the other. I'm going to throw some links in the video um, bottom for both type of cables. Okay, so you want to turn your Apple TV on now, and you want to plug it into your computer. Doing so, you're going to get iTunes is going to pop up saying Apple TV is in. Okay, now for the fun stuff. Yay, we're going to become a developer now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with everybody. So we're going to open up Xcode. You see I've been fooling around with it for a couple times here. All right, so we're going to create a new project, TBOS, application, single view application, product name. We're going to call it uh, Kodi ATV4, organization name, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as RHCP, organization identifier. Has to be com dot something. Again, I'm going to leave it at RHCP. When you first do this, it's going to come up as Objective C. You're going to want to change that to Swift. Leave everything else alone. Click Next. It's going to want to save it to the desktop. Again, Next. Now you're going to wait. Now this probably won't show like this when you first get it up. And, you know, it's going to have all kind of errors. Don't worry about it right now. See this little tab? You're going to hit that and you're going to bring it out. Then you're going to have a project. Then you're going to have this one. The one that we made. You can name it the same as me if you want to play along. And then you're going to come up with this. This is what we made. The version number, build number. And now this is another important part, the team. We have it set, I have it set up under my account. This is a free account, non-paid. You do not need an Apple developer account. If you don't have one here, you're going to click add account, which is basically going to bring you, I don't want to do it, but it's going to bring you to this. As you can see, free, free. I'm not paying for anything here. Okay. So we have an account. Now it's going to say blah, blah, blah. We don't have. All we got to do, believe it or not, is we click fix issue. And boom, it's gone. Simple as that. Okay. Next step. What do we say we need? Now we need the, o, the OSS. Oh, oh, yeah. iOS app signer. Alright, let's grab that. I'm going to go there. I'm going to download R15. I already have downloaded it. Now, to make things easier, 
what I did is I created a, a, a Kodi directory on my desktop. I got the iOS app signer and I got the latest dev. Okay, so now we're gonna open up that app signer. I'm gonna bring a little screen up here. Now you may get an error that you can't open this file. Again, an easy fix for you. You're gonna to go to system preferences, let that load up, security and privacy. You're gonna click the little lock. You're gonna type in your password. You're gonna click, see where it says allow apps, app download from, from. You're gonna click anywhere and that's it. You're gonna exit back out and then boom, you're gonna pop open to something like this. Input file. Okay, we're gonna hit browse. There's our deb. Okay, ready to go. Our developer, which is me. Now, this is important, provisioning profile. We'll go back to Xcode, in case you forgot the name. We named it com.rhcp, Cody ATV4. Okay, now we're gonna go here. And there it is, see it? Cody Apple TV4. And then, now I like to show it on my Apple TV as Cody. So, we'll put that in there. Now we're gonna click start. Actually, click start. Okay, and then it's gonna to wanna to save the file. We're gonna leave it in our Kodi directory, that way everything's nice and clean. We're gonna click save. Sit back and relax. This takes a few minutes, depends on your system. It's code signing. Well, like a developer here. We're hacking. Here we go, packing an IPA. That was easy, wasn't it? There we go, done. It already outputted the file. Hey, okay. now we can make this small again. Go back to Xcode. You're gonna click Window. Then you're gonna go down to where it says Devices. And then in my case, it's my, my living room TV. I'm gonna click the plus. And there's our, eight, our IPA. We're gonna click open. And then now it's gonna start installing it. Again, you're gonna sit back, relax. You can probably hear my voice get a little far from the microphone because I actually am sitting back. Now it's actually installing it. And there we go. It is as simple as that. Now I wish I could show you guys. I'm wondering if I could click take screenshot. Um, does it put it on my desktop? I would love to show you guys. Probably because I don't have anything installed, but that's it, guys. Um, if you want to see any other Apple Apple TV stuff, if you want to see anything at all, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this a like. Help in any way you can. I'm trying to grow my channel as much as possible. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.